Heisman Trophy winner, it was Caleb Williams. And I thought that he had a very interesting comment to the other candidates on Saturday night. The finalists that sit right here in front of me, CJ, Max, Stets, you guys are unbelievable competitors. I'm so happy to be up here with y'all, um, knowing Stets from when I went to Georgia on my visits and him being my host, which is kind of kind of funny that I'm up here with him now. But we've all been through this journey these past couple of days together. And I may be standing up here today, but y'all get to go to college football playoffs. <laughs> I thought it was good. And they're, they're right, you know. If I said you could have the Heisman or you could be playing in the playoffs. I don't know if Chris Fowler asked that question, but after the comment that Caleb Williams had, I would have asked him that. Would you rather have that Heisman or be playing in the playoffs? Now, the obvious answer is I'd rather be playing in the playoffs for a national championship. You'd like for him to say that, but I don't know. Uh, what did you think of the outfit? He had uh, an Adidas Gucci suit on there. Uh, it, it was a combo platter. First thing I thought was, I thought USC is a Nike school, and he's got an Adidas Gucci suit on. Marv? Look, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> if I was his age, I probably would have looked at the money I have. I Look, if I was making money like that, I would be wearing my money. Like, look, it's Adidas and Gucci combined, but now at my ripe old age, Absolutely not. If if you would, I would take those ridiculous stripes off and I would just put a plain black, plain black slacks with that same jacket. Take this uh take the stripes off. Okay. And then I would just have black the, slacks on. The Adidas stripes that, that he had on. Oh, I just can't. That's just so <laughs> and then ridiculous. He had Adidas logo there. Oh. But I, I do think USC's a Nike school. Oh, they sure are. Yeah. I didn't know how that was going to go over. Yeah, Paulie. But, you know, he might be the first guy with NIL to go to the Heisman Trophy and make money going to the Heisman Trophy. He got paid to wear the suit. Yeah. He got paid to wear, I think, the watch. He also got paid to bring his offensive linemen and fly them out and put them up. Another NIL deal. Mm. He's nilling it, as we like to say. In the business. Yes, yes, Mark. Not to go back to Caleb Williams' suit, but to go back to his suit on his pocket. It's the Adidas logo with the Gucci underneath. It went right over my head. Excuse yeah. me. Man, where you're set. Yeah, that's what I saw. That's, that's why I said. That just screams, look at me. Look at my money. Woo. I just didn't know Adidas made suits. Maybe that's the first one. Maybe that's the. But this goes back a long time ago when Steve Nash and Allen Iverson got singled out by the commissioner. And I thought, when does Armani or Nike... They, like they create their own suits that are specific for these players to be able to wear. Cause I don't know if the commissioner could be upset if you're wearing a suit and tie, but you got a logo, like cash in on this, you know, it's product placement there. If you're one of these big names and you go to your press conference, you want to put on somebody's designer outfit there. Why not? I thought they should have done that years ago. Yeah, Paul. The actual suit, not the one that he wore, Caleb Williams, but mm. you could buy that suit. It's it's the Adidas X Wool Formal Jacket in Brown. It's a lovely earth tone. Mm. I got it as a partnership with Gucci, and it's thirty five hundred dollars for that jacket. Mm. Who's in? Well, it's the suit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you had to buy the pants. I think straight up jacket is just thirty five hundred. Wait, they don't give you the pants with the jacket? You think it'd be a package deal? Yeah, because the stripes, the whole thing. But you know, it's double breasted. It's, it's available for, for purchase. I didn't know double-breasted came back. I haven't worn a suit in a while. And I didn't know that stripes on the sleeves of suits came back either. Yeah. Mm. Was that ever a thing? I don't think so. <laughs> yes, Todd? Sponsorship money aside, if you had to pick between the suit that you want to wear or whatever bling you want, what would be more important to you? Like C.J. Stroud had that big diamond seven necklace. Do you get that nice suit or you like the big blingy jewelry? I like clean. I don't I don't need to have anything. But I'm not 22 years of age and the money that they get and and what's important to them. I always thought whenever I was going to be on TV, always have either a a blue shirt, white shirt or something that's a striped shirt that, you know, is not loud and a great color tie. Dark suit can't go wrong. 
and but it's never about bling. Any watch that I wore was usually underneath my sleeves that I didn't go, I'm going to, you know, uncover it so you can see what I'm wearing. Hey, I've got this uh, Audemars on. Notice me. I, I wasn't interested in that. But if you're 22, 23, I don't know what I would wear if I was Caleb Williams. I mean, I would hope that I would wear, I'd probably wear, you know, khakis, boat shoes, and a, a nice blazer with a, a nice tie. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned that because that's basically what Stetson Bennett wore all weekend <laughs> with Georgia. So there's a company called Onward Reserve. They have Stetson's Heisman outfits from the weekend. A nice five-pocket <laughs> stretch pant in stone, Dan. I'm not kidding. I'm not making this up in any way. Uh, they have a nice quarter zip, Manning-esque. They have the tie, the Georgia necktie. They have the, his entire outfit, the plaid sport coat. It's a salsa plaid sport coat for five ninety five. It's very becoming. Did did Max Duggan's uh, outfit make it? Uh, you know that I could I could dress like Max Duggan. He may have just wore what's available. <laughs> I, I will check, but you could buy Stetson's entire Heisman weekend outfit. I'd probably wear my uniform. I just walk in there. I'm like, hey, I'm ready to play. I'd have eye back on. I'm ready to play. <laughs> I'm a baller. Let's go. Yes, Todd. Would you feel obligated to wear as much of like your school colors? Like going all in, oh, sure. like all maroon suit and a gold tie, like if you're Caleb Williams instead. I can't do all maroon, but I can have accent that is maroon, USC colors, something like that. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, Max Duggan's outfit. It's kind of a muted gray uh, and black suit with a plum tie and a mm, light purple shirt. Yeah, but I'm okay with it that. It looked clean. Yeah, I'm all right with that. Purple to pocket square. I mean, I thought Caleb wearing Adidas for a Nike school, that was not good. That was not good. But as far as the suit, and I don't need the stripes down the side, but, you know, product placement. Mm. I don't know what they paid him to wear it, but, I mean, that's the day and age we're in right now. 